tech sentiment and text emotion. Have you heard of the words text sentiment and text emotions? From your choice of words, your AI robot coach can tell you what feelings your words generate and whether your text sentiment is positive, neutral, or negative. You Speak converts your spoken word to text and gives you the predominant emotion and sentiment generated. Word emotions range from anger to joy to sadness to fear to disgust. Here is an example. Hi Tom, I'm going to share with you some very sad news. Our growth numbers are projecting a decline by 20%. As a result, we'll have to let go of 30 people as now, this is causing a lot of demotivation in the team, which is causing low productivity. The bad news is that it has led to some attrition as well. Unfortunately, I don't see the situation improving over the next two months. And unless we are helped by giving us additional budget, we're only gonna go down and under. Now let's look at another example of the same text rewritten to deliver the bad news in a positive way. Hi Tom, the situation is that our numbers are down by 20%, which means we need to reduce headcount by 30 people. That could impact the team's morale and productivity. The good news is that the situation can be turned around when we get an additional budget of $250,000. Conveying the same thing in different words can completely change the emotion generated. The scale is from negative one, which is extremely negative, to positive one, which is extremely positive. Here the sentiment moves from negative 0.51 to positive 0.42. The predominant emotion changed from sadness 0.67 to joy 0.58. What has caused this difference? Number one, opened with a neutral word. A neutral word was used such as the situation is in the second text versus I'm going to share with you very sad news in the first text. When giving bad news, you wanna start with a sentence like, the situation is that we're currently behind by one month. Number two, negative words were removed or changed. The highlighted negative words in yellow from the first text were swapped with more positive ones. So instead of using sad news and bad news, the speaker offered a way to turn around the situation, which is good news. Also, a contraction is a split word such as should not, which becomes shouldn't. Other examples are can't, won't, don't, and these words make you sound negative and impact the text sentiment and emotion. You want to exchange the word for a positive one. Next, the situation can be turned around when we get an additional budget of $250,000 versus the situation can be turned around if we get a budget of $250,000. Notice the difference of if versus when. If means that there is a possibility of failure. However, when is a positive expectation that it will get approved. Number three, avoid extra words, be more assertive and direct. In the text above, these highlighted words in green are unnecessary words, which take away the assertiveness and clarity of the message. In the second text, the number of words have been reduced by 48%, leading to a more positive text sentiment and emotion. Further, the words highlighted in green are less direct. For instance, I'm going to share with you is passive. You're asking permission to share your view. You just need to share it and not ask for the right to do it. In addition, the line unless we are helped by giving us additional budget, gives the listener a choice to say no, and again sounds submissive. Be solution-oriented and assertive. The good news is that the situation can be turned around when we get an additional budget of $250,000.
This is what you need to solve the situation. Here's a tip. When you say, I'll try and get this done within 30 days, it leaves a doubt in the listener's mind and makes you sound unsure, passive, and fearful. You want to remove the words try and maybe from your vocabulary. Either you'll get it done or you won't. A more effective way to say this is, I will get this done in 30 days or I need 30 days to get this done. Overall, you want to think about your choice of words. Let's see some examples of negative words and phrases which can be said in a more positive way. Words are free. It's how you use them that will benefit or cost you. Go to youspeaknow.com to assess your word, emotion, and sentiment. If you get a negative or lower positive text sentiment score, then go back and review your script. Change words to more positive ones that sound assertive. Practice over and over again on YouSpeakNow.com until you get a higher score. Always remember to generate positive and joyful emotion through your spoken word. Go to our website, mygen.ai, for more details.